Welcome to your first video in my SQL data types. Alright, and if you don't know what that is, that's okay. And if you don't know what my SQL is, that's also okay. My SQL is a relational database management system. It allows you to store information in a database. And basically when you want to store something in a database, my SQL will want to know what it's storing. Is it a number? Is it a word? Is it binary? So there's a whole bunch of data types, and I will be going over these in this series. All right, here are the four types of data types. Now, numeric, that would be any type of number, like 67.3. Date and time, yeah, this is pretty simple, just a date and time, or time. String, that is any, uh, like, word or anything in quotes. So, like... Pizza. That's a that's a string. You can also have numbers as strings, so you could have in here 638. But this is still a type string, not numeric. And then there's I think this is spatial. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But uh, we're not going to be going over these in this tutorial. For one, you need to use MySQL functions, and I will not actually be using MySQL in this. I'll just be teaching about the data types. So, let's get rid of these, and you can find those online if you want. I've never used them, so I'm not teaching. Here are all of the string data types. Now, these are for storing text, and so are these, but these convert to binary, and they do not have a character set, and I'll get into that, don't worry if you don't know what's going on. Now, these, uh, these will be like enum and set. It'd be picking options. So there'd be like four options and you get to pick one for enum and then for set you'd be able to pick more than one. And I'll be going into this. Don't you don't I don't even know why I had to say all that. So first we'll be going over char and var char. These stand for characters. So characters and variable characters. Now what that means, what the difference between these two is how it is stored. So we put an entry into a database. And let's say it is eight letters long. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's seven long. <laughs> All right, now we're using the char data type. Now, when we enter a four letter word, such as food, these will be entered as spaces. So when you enter it, they'll be put. The spaces will be in, uh, stored in these three spots, and then when you retrieve it, they'll take the spaces off, and it'll be given to you as food. So, the varchar, on the other hand, will actually, if you leave these blank, it'll actually cut these short and store it as four letters rather than seven. Now, what does this mean? That means that char needs more space on your system because it's storing extra three spots. Now as just stated, I said char will retain spaces. So why would it do this? Basically it's for a, it's recommended to use it for when things are a set amount of uh, spaces. So let's say um, zip code. So five letter zip code, let's just make it one 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 one. That's five. Basically, it should always be five, and if it's four, somebody typed something in wrong, and you know something's messed up. So it should, it'll always store as five, which is more effective and faster storing exact length characters, rather than varchar, which varies. Here's the stats, I guess you could say. Char, better performance. Varchar, better size. So when do you use what? And I said a little bit about this. Basically, when something's a set amount of characters, such as a social security number, phone number, I would you want to use char. But when something varies, such as a name, a username, an email, you want to use var char. The max amount you can store in a char is 255 characters versus var char 6,535. Whoops, <laughs> 65,535. If you enter, let's say you have var char four. Right here. That's four spots. 
and the word you enter is fake. That fits fine, but what if it's in a Varchar 3? You can see that this is too long, so what it does is it will cut off anything on the end. So now you'll have fat rather than fake. 